So, at long last, supposedly, a deal is done. But what does that actually mean? And does anybody really care? And does it mean much anyway if we still have other strikes going on? I don't know. Let's talk about it. Here we go. So, according to Deadline, late in the evening, it's a deal. That's right, the WGA and the AMPTP have reached a tentative agreement to end the writer's strike. The actors are still out striking, and the IATSE folks are probably getting ready to go in the wings, and there's a whole lot of other churning action going on in the background. What does this actually mean? Well, it means that we're going to redo all of this again in about three years, to be fair. I don't know how we can look at what just happened and what some of these deal points may be and think that we're done because we're not. And that's one of the biggest factors in where we end up in entertainment every three years. They're never really done because there's always one group trying to screw over the other group. That's not new. So from the article itself, I'm going to read here real quick. The WGA and the AMPTP have reached a joint agreement. They issued a joint statement. The Writers Guild has reached an agreement with the AMPTP to end the strike after nearly five months. This is, I guess, one of the longest strikes ever. The parties finalized the framework of the deal Sunday when they were able to untangle their stalemate over AI and writing room staffing levels. That's right. We want to guarantee there's a certain number of writers in the room. That's really important to us. You know, if somebody comes up with a show, writes out the entire show, and is ready to produce a show, but there's not enough writers to write the story that's already written, I don't know how that's all going to work out. Nor do I care, to be fair. Since there are no deal points revealed, that's about as hollow a statement as you can find. We don't know what compensation is going to be organized. We don't know what the staffing levels are going to be in those writing rooms. And we also don't know what that agreement is on AI. I think just kicking this can down the road is going to be a problem for the Writers Guild and for Hollywood in general if that's what actually happened. And here's the other weird thing. This deal isn't even ratified yet. Everybody's got to vote on it to say, yeah, let's do it. We'll move on. So we've reached a tentative agreement on the 2023 uh, MBA, which is to say an agreement in principle on all deal points subject to drafting final contract language, which is amazing because the deal came and was released after sunset going into Yom Kippur holiday. So that was after five long days of negotiation. We don't know anything about it. It hasn't been revealed. Next steps are going to be, uh, I guess, Ellen Stutzman's going to be involved in this, saying whether to recommend the agreement and send it on to the WGA West Board and the WGA East Council for approval is scheduled for Tuesday. So we're still not done. Regardless of what you're going to hear over the next few days, whether or not this is a good thing or a bad thing will always be yet to be seen. There's never a clear winner or clear loser in these until after everything kind of shakes out. Most of the time, the writers, the actors, they, 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 they still lose, but they lose less. There was also something very clear that was included here, which is we aren't going back to work until you settle up with SAG-AFTRA or the actors in this case. You've got to settle up with the Film Actors Guild or, you know, we're not coming back, which is, I guess, part of the deal point. I don't know. We don't know. But that's been a statement that's been rattling around for the last couple of hours. Believe what you will, but we're far from done with Hollywood unrest for quite some time. And what did it actually accomplish? Are we going to get something better or the same? I think that's the most important question here. Are things going to change? Are we going to get quality entertainment? Or are we going to get more propagandist fluff? I think that's the nicest way I can put it. Anyway, your opinion is as good as mine, so feel free to make those comments down 
in the comment section below. I'd love to have a conversation about this. My expectations of this deal, well, they're pretty low. I also don't think that we're anywhere close to done on the unrest in Hollywood. And I think there's still a potential to upset the apple cart. On that note, thanks for checking out the video. Feel free to share it out on the social medias. Hit that like button. Be sure you're still subscribed to the channel. There are 40% of you that are not subscribed to the channel. Please, guys, hit that subscribe button down below. It is absolutely free and it helps me immensely. We are on the road to 15K. And as always, be sure to take care of yourself, take care of others, and until next time, see ya!